Keith Thurman has a rumored comeback opponent, possibly on the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury undercard in Brooklyn. Stay tuned. Coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bus Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So we got some interesting, 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 interesting news. A rumored opponent for Keith Thurman's comeback fight is none other than Zab Super Judah. Brooklyn's own Zab Judah is rumored to be Keith Thurman's comeback opponent. This is an interesting fight. I know a lot of people are going to state that Zab Judah is over the hill. Zab Judah don't have nothing left. But you know, Zab Judah is very experienced. He still has his speed. He's still a southpaw. He's still an orthodox at times. You know, he has a lot of uh, technical boxing abilities. And he does have power. Not to mention, Zab Judah has a lot of experience. He's been in the ring with the likes of Floyd Mayweather Jr., Miguel Cotto, uh, Lucas Matisse. Actually, Lucas Matisse picked Zab Judah thinking that he was over the hill in that backfight on Matisse. He actually beat Matisse. Then he's been in the ring with Amir Khan. He's been in the ring with Danny Garcia. You know, just to, men, just to name a few. I know he's lost. He came up short in those fights. You know, but he does have the potential to come up big. So this is a very interesting fight, interesting comeback fight, especially for Keith Thurman. Stating that, seeing as though Keith Thurman has been out of the ring since March of 2017, he's been inactive and have injuries. You know, um, Zab Judah could be a tricky comeback opponent for somebody that's been inactive. And I know a lot of people going to say, yeah, well, Zab's over the hill and he's been inactive. Well, that's not true because Zab Judah has actually been fighting overseas. He hasn't been fighting in the States, but he has been fighting overseas. I know a lot of people are going to point to the fact that, oh, he's, he's a nurse now and so on and so on and all types of things. But still, at the end of the day, man, Zab Judah has the ability to, ups to get an upset victory over Keith Thurman. Uh, Zab Judah as well uh, uh, has, you know, he's very tricky, southpaw tricky, and Keith Thurman, like I said, has been inactive, you know, he's just been inactive, so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Zab Judah just fought January of this year, you know, um, so, you know, uh, uh, it's an interesting comeback opponent, and it's supposed to be, it's, it's being rumored to be possibly on Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury undercard, location is still yet to be named, I know Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury is starting their press tour, uh, next week, next Monday. And uh, Zab Judah had this to say, man. He put this on his Instagram not too long ago. Um, he stated that, he says, listen. He says, I did it six times, meaning he's a six-time world champion. He said, here goes number seven. Team, hashtag Team Judah, hashtag we will win, hashtag I'm about this life. And he posted a picture, as you can see, with him and his uh, team holding up his belt. You know, see, that's another thing. Zab Judah is a, a former world champion, six-time world champion. Zab Judah is very experienced. He's a southpaw with speed and very tricky, you know. So this is definitely going to be an interesting comeback fight for Keith Thurman, who's been inactive. Now, if Keith Thurman has been active the entire time, then I would state that this is, uh, I would favor Keith Thurman by a wide, a wide margin. But seeing as though Keith Thurman has not been uh, active, I still favor Keith Thurman, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is a very, very close fight that Keith Thurman wins. Or I wouldn't be overly surprised if Zab Judah actually pulled out an upset victory. You know, I know we, we, we look at Zab Judah. He lost to the likes of Paulie Malignaggi, Amir Khan, Danny Garcia, um, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., and Miguel Cotto. You know, but those were all interesting fights. I know he's long past that time when he fought Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, I had him winning the first four rounds against Floyd Mayweather. Some people had him winning even more rounds than uh, than that. Uh, I had him winning um, numerous rounds. I had him winning uh, the second half of Danny Garcia fight. And uh, he was winning. He was very active. That was a very close fight between him and Miguel Cotto. So, you know, uh, Zab Judah has a lot of ability, man. He has a, a, a the, the he has the, the ability to upset, get an upset victory, man. Especially with somebody who's not been active and, and coming off a lot of injuries. But... I still favor Keith Thurman to win this fight, but it's definitely an interesting comeback fight for Keith Thurman. But that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. 
Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Can Zab Judah pull an upset victory over Keith Thurman for his comeback, comeback fight? Let me know what y'all think. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the